Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. And today we're gonna do a pretty fun video here in 2023, and that is taking music off of an old Apple iPod and moving it over onto a Samsung Galaxy device. Now I shot this video about five, six, and seven years ago, and I never touched it since. And so today I wanted to share with you that you're still able to get this done. And especially for those who didn't see those videos, I'm gonna show you what Steve Jobs really did not have in mind or in store for the iPod. He was not making this iPod to basically hold music as a flash storage, go to your friend's house, transfer the music over. It was really only a one way in, and then you just basically listen to music. It pretty much syncs up with your computer. It moves everything over onto the iPod itself. You're not able to take anything from the pod to a computer or anything else. But the fun thing about Samsung Galaxy devices is that the iPod thinks that the Galaxy phone is a computer of a way of transferring music really pretty much back and forth. I can take music from the pod, put it over into the Samsung phone. Once it's in the Samsung phone, I can really move it anywhere I want to. And also too, I can use this as a flash storage where I can move music from the phone. If you do have physical music on the Samsung phone, you can move it over into a folder onto the iPod. You're not able to listen to that music, you know, in the iPod, you're not able to pretty much move, you know, move it to your computer or have it synced. It's just a storage that you're able to grab later on when you plug it into another Samsung phone. So I'm gonna show you all of pretty much what I'm talking about. So all you need for this to work is your old iPod that is currently collecting dust, the cable that was used to basically sync with your computer or charge it, and then not only your Samsung phone, but also the dongle that you were able to get with the past Samsung phones. If you don't have one of these, you can simply find one of these on Amazon. You'd be able to find a simple dongle. And really it just has to be the regular USB dongle like this, USB-A uh, to the type C. So this way you can plug it into the bottom of your Samsung phone. So here we are, we're just going to plug it in. And then now what's gonna happen is that the iPod is thinking it's plugged into a computer. So now that it's plugged in, you just wanna go inside of my files. Now, before I show you everything, I just wanna show you that my audio files, there's pretty much nothing in here other than over the horizon song and then a Hangouts incoming call. So that's all that I have. You know, even if I was to go inside of my normal internal storage, I go to music, you can see that there's only one sitting in here and that's from Samsung. Again, the over the horizon song. So once you go inside of my files, this USB storage one is the iPod itself. So I'm gonna tap on that. Then you wanna go inside of iPod control. And then once you're inside of here, you go to music. Now inside of music, what they did was they condensed pretty much all of the file naming, the, the artist, the title, everything. Uh, same thing with all these folders. So these are different folders. This is folder 00, folder 01, folder two, folder three, folder four, folder five. Uh, and I have all the way up to folder 49. This folder 50 was one that I created to move people or, or to move music onto the pod itself, just as a storage, basically like flash drive um, or flash storage. So I'm gonna go inside of this folder five just for fun. Now, you may not know what these songs are. You may not know who the title or the, the artist name, the title of the song, you might not know nothing, but once you move it to your Samsung phone, all of those will actually come in. And all of these four letters right here is just a way that they're able to condense everything down so it doesn't take up as much space. So that was really smart in their way of things, but really you don't really know what any of these are, unless if you're on the iPod itself or once you transfer over, you'll be able to see these names uh, just with the music player that is provided. So now that I've selected my 10, we already knew that I had basically no songs. I'm just gonna go to copy. Now, once I copy, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move right back over into my main home. I'm gonna go inside of my internal storage. So this is the internal storage of my device. I'm gonna go to music and I'm just gonna copy it here. And it's that simple. Now you have 10 songs from the iPod over onto your Samsung phone. Now, here's the thing though. Uh, none of these have the, the, the titles or artists or anything like that. But if you're to tap on one of them, it's going to give you options of what you want to play it with. So you can do YouTube music. Uh, that's what I use. You can also use Spotify. Uh, and then over here is Samsung music. Samsung music is something that you can download right off of the galaxy store. So I'm going to show you what this looks like when I go inside of, you know, let's say the galaxy store, just to show you where you can get it downloaded. You go inside of the galaxy store on the very top to search for Samsung Music or I type the word music and here's Samsung Music right there. And if you don't want to use Samsung Music, you don't have to. I mean, it, it is a free application and you can see right here, here's my tracks. I have Underground Communication from Bass Nectar, uh, Wish You Would from Ludacris, uh, Kings and Queens from 30 Seconds to Mars, If You Can't Hang, Sleeping with Sirens, 
Uh, <laughs> let's see, going away to college from Blink-182. Now, this is the only one that, that didn't really transfer over the, the song title, but it moved over the artist. So at least you can know what that is. So again, you can just tap on one of these and it's going to play. And then here's that album artwork. Here's the title and all that really, you know, good stuff. Now, if you don't want to use the Samsung music, you don't have to. I use YouTube music. And when you go inside of here and let's say that you wanted to play one of these songs, so let's say you chose YouTube music as one of them, it's just going to play right here. Uh, and it will actually, you know, show off usually the album, uh, you know, the, the song of the, or the title of the song and as well as the artist. So right here, just using YouTube music to, to do that. Uh, now, if I go inside of my Samsung folder up here, I go inside of Samsung music, you know, you can see it inside of tracks. So here's where Spotify is, here's the, the favorites, and then here is tracks right here. If I go to playlist right here, you can see recently added, there was 11. It's because this is a brand new application I just added in, so it just shows all of the brand new you know, albums. Now there is one thing I need to let you know before I put this towards the end of the video, is I'd rather just show you now, is you always have to unmount from your Samsung phone and you wanna unmount your iPod, because what will happen is if I unplug now, it's gonna ask me to restart my phone. So all you'd have to do is just go inside of my files, and these three dots for the USB storage one, it has the unmount option. And now you just unmount it, you unplug it, and that is it. So now you don't have to restart your phone. This is already unmounting. So again, if you wanted to get this done, uh, again, all you'd have to do is go inside of my files after you have everything already plugged in. Then you go to USB storage one, then you go inside of the iPod control, you go inside of music, and let's just get a few more. Let's go inside of folder 26. And let's say that I wanted to choose this one, this one. You know, we're just going to add in, let's see here, six, seven, eight, nine, and let's do 10. So we're going to move over 10 more. Again, copy. Now, once you copied it, move right back over into the main storage area. And then you want to go inside of internal storage. You go to music copy here and now you just added in 10 more songs again you can use whatever music player you want to the samsung music is right there inside the galaxy store it makes it very simple you just go inside of here samsung music if i was to move right on back and then let's say that i move over into tracks now what's going to happen let's see here they all just added in right now if i even go to over here again you can see there's 21 tracks so here we go we have you know little bad girl david getta Christmas Love, Justin Bieber. I mean, these songs are from, you know, 2010. Uh, you got Broke by Nelly and Yo, Yo Gotti and Sophie Green. You got a few more Drake songs going on. So, I mean, it, it's really fun of what you're able to do by transferring music from an old iPod to your Samsung phone. And now it's just literally sitting inside of the My Files right here. This is sitting inside of My Files music and you could transfer it anywhere you want to. So if you have old music that you completely lost and you wish you could have again from a decade ago, this is the way you're able to get it done. So now let's say that you wanted to move music from your phone over into the iPod. And again, this is for, you know, the very first time that you've ever done it. So all you'd have to do is you want to go inside of my files. Then you want to go inside of your internal storage of your phone. Here is music. And this just only works if you have physical songs on your phone. Now, a lot of us is just doing streaming. So more than likely you might not have any, but if you do, this is how you copy them over. You pretty much almost do the same step. So from here, I'm going to do copy, go right back over inside of my files. I'm going to go to the USB storage one, and then I'm gonna go inside of the iPod control one more time, go inside of music. But what I'm gonna do here is create a new folder because if I put it into any of these folders, I'm just gonna lose and forget where I moved them. So if you go to create folder and if you go with F51, now what's gonna happen is I created a new folder. I'm gonna move it right inside of here and I copied it. Now these songs are physically on the iPod itself right now, it's synchronizing, but if you were to try to listen to this music from either your headset or plug it into your computer to get it synchronized, it's not going to show up. It's a secret hidden folder, just storage right here that you can plug into another Samsung phone and it's just sitting there. So that's what I did with, with folder 50. All this folder 50 right here, is, because you can see that they're named and actually titled out, they're not, they don't have those four letters like all the other folders. So like these were from me. If I go into any of these other ones, these are what is all synced up inside of the iPod itself that I'd be able to listen to. But this is just a storage folder 
inside of the iPod, which is actually very cool. And again, I don't think Apple even knew that you could maybe do that. Maybe they did. Uh, but here, this is just storing the music that I'd be able to grab later on with my future Samsung phones if I ever wanted to, you know, uh, grab this music all over again. So it's really cool. So again, these are the two folders I created. Originally, natively, I had 49. So if I was, again, go inside a folder, folder to your nine, um, you'd be able to see that I have some sitting here. And I tested it out before. I tested what would happen if I were, was to move music into a folder already created. They just sit there. They're just kind of ghosts, you know, files that are not going to work on the iPod if you plug in or whatever. But yeah, so this is how you're able to not only grab music from the iPod, put it to your Samsung phone, and then do whatever you want with it, but also create kind of ghost storage folders <laughs> that you're able to grab later on. Uh, but yeah, this is actually pretty cool. So that is everything that I wanted to share with you guys today. It's a way that you're able to still in 2023, get use out of an old iPod. That's just again, collecting dust. You can move those songs to your phone. Uh, you can either use YouTube music to play it. You can use Spotify to play it. You can also get Samsung music. It's a free application. You just go inside of here. Uh, here's your, you know, all your options. It's going to give you the titles. It's going to give you the artists. It's going to give you the thumbnails. Very, very cool. Hopefully you guys appreciated it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.